God bless you, everyone. Dave here with another video to tell you how to be a leader led by God. Yes, you are a leader, but only led by God. God is the one who makes leaders because leaders can fall short of God's favor and provision if trapped in sin. What is sin, you ask? Hmm. Well, it's bad things you don't want to ever think about. Don't be a follower of sin that is acceptable by man. And there is sin that is acceptable by man. People accept sin that you don't have to. Sin is not acceptable by God, and we know that. But people accept it because we are born into it. You don't have to be trapped and lose God's favor and provision. Do you know the story in the Bible about Noah and the ark? Do you remember that, Noah and the ark? We get a sense of the impact from reading Genesis chapter 6, verse 7 through 9. I'll read that for you. Genesis chapter 6, verse 7 through 9. And the scripture says, So the Lord said, I created human beings, but I will wipe them out. I will also destroy the animals, the birds in the sky, and the creatures that move along the ground. I am very sad that I have made human beings. But the Lord was very pleased with Noah. Here is the story of Noah's family life. Noah was a godly man. He was without blame among the people of his time. He walked faithfully with God. And that is from Genesis chapter 6, verse 7 through 9. You see, there was a reason for this. And we see it in Genesis just before that, chapter 6, verse 5 through 6. And the scripture says, the Lord saw how bad the sins of everyone on earth had become. They only thought about evil things. The Lord was very sad that he had made human beings on the earth. His heart was filled with pain. And again, that's in Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 through 6. So now think of this. No matter how ungodly the environment you may be in, God will always find you and walk with you. Think about that. It doesn't matter about the environment you're in. God can find you and walk with you. Think of that. God will always find you and walk with you. Let's look at that again with Noah. You see, Noah lived in perhaps one of the most wicked ages in history. Imagine the reason for the flood. I'm going to say this again in Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 through 6 where it says, the Lord saw how bad the sins of everyone on earth had become. The, they only thought about evil things. The Lord was very sad that he made human beings on the earth. His heart was filled with pain. See, that's from Genesis chapter 6, verse 5 through 6. Now check it out. Back then, in these wicked times, no one worshipped God. Yep, that happened. No one worshipped God. All the people worshipped idols. That's right. They worshipped idols and pursued their own sinful pleasures. They only cared about themselves. Now, you know a little more about the sin we are talking about, but let's not go there. Well, there's a lot more to talk about that, but we don't want to dive into that. Let's understand a little more about what Noah went through. You see, Noah's neighbors were evil. Every person he associated with in the marketplace or along the street, or in public gatherings, ridiculed the very thought of being faithful to God. See, it's a type of persecution, okay? For every temptation imaginable was abundantly available to Noah, but he resisted. How oppressive such an environment would have been to a righteous person. Think of that. The people of Noah's day were so wicked, that God planned the most complete and drastic act of judgment recorded in Scripture. And we know this from the flood. Nevertheless, Noah was not lost to God in the crowd of sinners. God noticed every act of Noah's righteousness. Noah had chosen to live uprightly before God, despite what everyone around him was doing, and God had observed him. There may have been times when Noah wondered if it mattered if he lived a righteous life, since no one else was. Yet he continued, and his persistence in righteousness saved his life and the lives of his family members. Think about yourself. Are you persistent in righteousness? 
Are you constantly surrounded by evil and the influences of evil? Of course we are. We all are. Do you struggle at times to live a righteous life when those you see or meet up with each day have no concern for God? Think of this. Think of who you're surrounded by. Find assurance in the life of Noah. Think about Noah. Look at what he did and how God had favor and provision for Noah. God watches you even as he observed Noah. God will seek you out of the crowd every time, and he wants to bless you and your family just as he blessed Noah. Well, as the story goes, Noah and who followed turned out okay. We see this in Genesis chapter 9, verse 1 through 3, where it says, Then God blessed Noah and his son, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will fall on all the beasts of the earth, and on all the birds in the sky, on every creature that moves along the ground, and on all the fish in the sea. They are given into your hands. Everything that lives and moves about will be food for you. Just as I gave the green plants, I now give you everything. And we see that in Genesis chapter 1, chapter 9, I should say. It's in Genesis chapter 9, verse 1 through 3. As I said before, be a leader led by God. Don't be a follower of sin that is acceptable by man. Too often we follow each other on social media or otherwise. Where are they going? Check it out. Follow God. That's where we all should be going, wherever God is leading us. And that will wrap it up for today. Be blessed. My name is Dave.